All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! Alright Tree Eagles, what's happening? Three games left of this season and two of them in four days. Bring it on! We're away for this one. We're off to Mill Farm. It's AFC filed v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. This is a really early start for me. So forgive me if this intro is pretty shit. I've been a little bit occupied since I've been back in 2019. Don't come in, I'm getting changed! But anyway, that's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get into the football news! So Fylde sit fifth in the National League, where they've currently played 43 times. They've won 20, they drew 15, they've lost 8, scoring 70, conceding 39, giving the goal difference of plus 31, and they're currently on 75 points. And the last five games have been two wins, two draws, and one loss. Dave Chenonor is still in charge of the Coasters, but this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Last time we played them in the league, this was his record. He's taken 304 games, he's won 164 of them, he's drawn 68, and he's lost 72, giving him a win percentage of 53.9. But now they're saying that this is his record. Taking 393 games, winning 218, drawing 89, losing 86, giving him a win percentage of 55.47. Now I'm no Carol Vorderman, but even I know that they haven't played 89 games since we last played him in the league. Hey, you go fuck yourself. You got some explaining to do. Number nine, Danny Rowe, who has 26 goals and four assists in 43 games. This will be our first meeting in the league at Mill Farm. So with that all being said, let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, AFC Files. It's Good Friday. I've been up since half five. All the trains are fucked. And I'm about to sit in a dinky car for about four hours with me bollocks up to me chest because it's that small. What would Jesus think, you bunch of wankers? Come on, Barnet! <laughs> Start lineup for Barnet in a 4 2 3 1 today. Mark Cousins in goal, your back four. Elliot Johnson at left back, Shad Alexander at right back, Captain Callum Reynolds and Dan Sweeney as your two centre halves. Two centre mids, Andre Bucard and Harry Taylor. The three in the advanced midfield role. Mason Clark on the wide right, Medi Leto on the wide left, and Jack Taylor in the number 10 role. And Shaq up front. And this is our filed lineup for today's game. Great ball, great ball. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I think I've just witnessed the most non-league football thing in my life you would ever see in actual non-league football. We're about two minutes in. We get a free kick. Medialito plays it in, but foul clear it anyway. We managed to break again. Mason Clark puts a nice ball in right to the back post. Shaq knocks it back. Jack Taylor, he's had a shot as he's going in. Callum Reynolds clears it off the line, but then gets flagged for being offside. I've seen that on Sunday league. It's just, you couldn't make that up. Just gone quarter of an hour, still nil-nil. We have controlled all the possession. Passing's been brilliant. Let's try and convert some of this nice passing in into chances. Just gone 20 in here and it's AFC filed one, it's Barnett nil. Nice work goal from Files. Danny Rowe put the ball in the back of the net. They've grown into the game the last 10. We controlled a lot of the possession like we do most weeks but we don't do nothing with it. Number 11, number 8 have controlled the midfield Files since they went 1-0 up. Can't get near them. They're the orchestras. We're completely over the place. We haven't got a clue what we're doing. Our shape is just non-existent. 10 to the half. Still losing 1-0. Now down to 10 men. Sweeney, straight red. Three game ban. That's him done there. That'll be the 
the last time we see him in a Barnet shirt, free agent, see you later. Before that, it looked like he was looking to get sent off. He's getting very frustrated with the game. The game's completely flat for us. We just look like we've down tools. We can play nice, short, pretty passing. As soon as things don't go our way, we go one nil down. We kind of give up. We don't know what to do. How many times have I seen this over the years? Under Rossi, under Davids, and now we're seeing it under Curry. Less than five to the half, still losing one nil. Tala. Half time there at Mill Farm, and it's AFC filed one. It's Barnet nil. After 20 minutes, we down tools. That was it. One nil down, and we literally gave up. Before that, we controlled the game, had all the possession in the world. We had one shot that if it didn't hit Callum Reynolds, it's in the back of the net. We're one nil after a minute. We couldn't break him down. They go down the other end. Nice quick break, one nil. That's it, we gave up. Sweeney goes and gets himself sent off. That's the last time we'll ever see of him. Enjoy your time at Leighton Orient. I don't know what more you want me to say. I would honestly sit here and say that I'm shocked and I can't believe it, and I'm lost for words, but I actually ain't. I really ain't. Just game just went completely flat after 20 minutes. Many Alito don't look like he wants to be at it. Half of this lot should be playing for a contract to stay here. If they don't want to stay here, they're making it very clear. Can't argue that Fylde have wanted it more since they've gone one in up. They persisted, they was patient, they waited for their opportunity and they took it. Half five in the morning, I was up. 45 minutes and I get to go home. Come on, Barnet. About 65 in, still losing one nil. Fylde with an effort just outside the box, over the bar. Cousin had it covered all day long. What how far we are from the beach. Really want to make a sandcastle and eat those hot donuts that you know you get on the beach. Yeah. About a quarter of an hour remaining, still losing 1-0. Jack Taylor just cleared one off the line to make it 2-0 to Fylde. We have no outlet, we have no game plan, we have no structure, and we're gonna have no points. It'd be a miracle if we get something out of this game. Less than 10 to go, still losing 1-0. Our only glimmer of a chance in this second half. Mason Clark puts a nice ball into the back post. Elliot Johnson gets up and he knocks it across the goal line. No one there gambling to have a tap in, and then Fylde cleared it. It's the only thing to talk about regarding us attacking today. Into the 90th, score still the same, just had it on form minutes. It's been nothing but a training session for Fylde. Game finished, AFC filed one, Barnet nil. We were very good for the first 20 minutes. Shape-wise, possession-wise, passing movement, all of that great stuff you want to see from your football team, but just no killer finish. So it's a typical Barnet where we can't break them down in 20 minutes, so we kind of just sit back and give up. I've seen it time and time again under endless managers, play nice, pretty football, no penetration to take the lead, and then you go one nil down. And as soon as they scored, we gave up. We down tools then. It was like we was never going to get back in the game, even when we had 11 men on the pitch. Then Sweeney gets sent off with down to 10 men. Wonderful. And it was a training session for Fylde then. We was chasing shadows and it's always difficult when you're up against a team who's got the extra man advantage. The boys did work hard to come off that field with a 1-0 loss but it is another loss and we've been let down yet again. Two games to go. Cannot wait for this season to finish. Bromley up next, Bank Holiday Monday. Let me know how your team got on in the comments below. Did any of you win? Tala.